it won't be the promised Regency service. We did want a direct flight. We paid extra because we paid extra we've got young children and uh, wanted a direct flight. So we're upset that we've got to, you know, go uh, indirect. But, you know, we, we might ask Mr Laker for a little bit of money back. I think he might get a request in the post from us when we get back from, from Florida. Rather disappointed. Yes, we, we only found out yesterday the service that Lake has sold was one of uh, a high quality with uh, uh, better spacing with the seats, televisions in the back of the seats and all the uh, things that would normally be extras. And of course I don't know whether we're going to receive that level of service on the uh, alternative plane. I was, I was a bit upset um, when I got the phone call because originally when I got the phone call they said we're not sure we've even got a flight for you but I've calmed down a bit now. And so you have to put up with it, I'm afraid. At least, at least he's here to apologise in person. So. Can I say how nice it is to be flying with you again? Thank you very Flew much. Flew on Sky nice Train 25 Look. years ago. I got my tie on. Oh, lovely. lovely. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> you don't look any younger, Freddie. You don't look any different, Jack. Don't I? You think I look all right? Yes, you do. Great, I've got to keep going. With all, the, all my mates like you, I've got to keep going. The Americans would react differently. They would show up here, and the first thing they'd be doing is asking for money back and refunds, and they'd want a special coupons for discounts on future flights. That would be the American way of handling the situation. And probably we would have done that already. If this would have been an American group, we would have handled it slightly different. Going to see a flight off of somebody else's airplane with your passengers in it, and you're paying over the odds for the flight as well. That's not exactly the best feeling in the world. But, uh, for every day we miss flying our own aeroplane, it's costing us something in the order of £150,000. I mean, th 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 this, this is not peanut money. This is real money. And um, I don't know anyone that likes to lose £150,000 a day. Oscar, and I, Oscar Wyatt and I hate it, and Bob just curls up in a corner, so to speak. I mean, it's... It's, it's, it's heartbreaking and, and it's pocket breaking. It's to start a business. Yeah. To start out with losses it makes it harder to recover. And it, it isn't as if you're <laughs> investing in your own country, a company. I mean, you're, you're giving money to other people. Nice people they may be, but I don't like giving them their money before breakfast every morning. What did you do to freeze your twine? What did you do to freeze shop here? That's just for today. What? A week later, the FAA grant the certificate, and for the first time, a Laker plane goes into service, flying Manchester to Orlando. Um, well, we have a few problems. The coffee makers aren't working. Um, we have the ovens that um, were missing about 10 oven inserts, and that means the oven looks like this, so you can't cook anything in it. <laughs> so we're just uh, frantically trying to look for some ovens. To our oven inserts to fit in there so the crew will be able to cook this wonderful uh, dinner. Okay, they told the new crew have very little time to prepare the plane before the first passengers board. Where are the boxes? Just a minute. Give me a box. I've got a box. But everyone gets an amenity sit. I've got, I'll take the, I'm going down the back. All hands to the deck. We want to put these on the seats. The new leather seats have been fitted, but with a piece of plastic where the seat back video should be. Could we quickly dress them in the seats now? Yeah, put them all in the seat. Right. You're pretty well done up there with that, I think. The plane takes off on time. Laker is back in the air. I was reading in one of the technical press a couple of days ago, and it said, it isn't, the headline was, it isn't the same today, Sir Freddie. And I said, thank God. Over the next four months, the service proves popular and the airline runs 11 flights a week from Manchester, Prestwick and Gatwick to Florida, relying on only two planes. 
the third plane has still not been delivered from the refitters. It's needed as a backup, and without it, the airline is hit by a number of small delays. Are you having a chicken? As airlines are stretched in August, many have mechanical problems. But for Sir Freddie, just one delay turns into a PR nightmare. It can't be. I paid you. You organised it. You sought it. There's no way I'll fly with him again. And if anyone ever mentions Laker, then I'll just tell him what I think of him. The customers are entitled to booming, but we're knocking our brains out to do everything we can. You are trying to find us a DC-10. Well, give me a call any time, day or night. Don't hesitate to ring. Sir Freddy does succeed in finding a replacement plane, but the nightmare worsens when it too breaks down.